G'day guys, welcome back to Lush Cut Lawns. My name's Jason, if you're new here, please subscribe if you like long overgrown lawn videos, I'd really appreciate it. So I actually cut this lawn about five months ago and I didn't release the video until about two months ago, so it's been five months since I've been here. And guys, this property is out of control. It is absolutely crazy. I'm almost six foot three. Have a look at this. It is absolutely crazy. There are weeds everywhere as tall as me. Unfortunately, I can't get my stand on in here and I'll show you why in just a few moments. I'm going to have to do this massive block with a push mower. I mean, have a look at this, guys. It's absolutely crazy. As tall as me, the weeds are just absolutely everywhere. This is the worst lawn I've ever done. This is probably gonna take me all day. Luckily, I know there's nothing really in the lawn because I've got rid of it before, but it is gonna be tough work. I assure you of that. I mean, look at this, guys, look at this. Look how tall these weeds are. I'm six foot three almost, crazy. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm sure it's gonna be a fantastic video. Thanks for watching.
we're making progress. It's uh, summer here in Australia, so it is humid as hell in Sydney right now, but I want you to check this out. There's so many weeds here, look at this. I've got thorns everywhere, all through my shirt, my, my shorts, my uh, protectors. Yeah, the thorns are absolutely everywhere. Anyway, we're getting through it, but uh, I mean, what do you guys think? <laughs> Am I crazy or what? I tell you, I'm not doing these lawns unless I can use the stand on. Ain't no way in hell I'm doing this again without a stand on. <laughs>
I just thought I'd let you guys know too, people always ask, you know, why am I cutting first? Why am I not whipper stimming first? Great question. Quick answer is, what I want to do is actually knock it down so I don't have a lot of whipper stimming to do along the edges because I tend to over whipper snip and it takes me way too long. The main reason is, because it's summer here in Australia and this, is, this grass is still wet underneath, what it does is it actually dries out in a couple of hours while I'm cutting it, while I'm whipper snipping it, it all dries out. Then I'm gonna come in with the uh, self-propelled mower and I'm gonna go over it about two or three times just to mulch everything up and make it look nice. So that's why I do it. All right, there was a big hole there, so that's why I cut around it. So I uh, just make sure I didn't fall in it like I did last time. Last time I cut it and then I fell in it when I was mowing. Ugh, what a dummy, eh? <laughs> Well, I'm breaking down. <laughs> Physically, I'm breaking down. That's what happens when you have three weeks off and you go on holidays. Man, I'm hurting. What I'm thinking I might do, see if I can get the self-propelled and uh, open the back flap and see if I can do that, man. Pushing through this. God, I'm just dying, man. This is a really big block too. Push mowing, probably one of YouTube's worst back lawns. Well, <laughs> this is bloody thick and hard going. I was, I just went home, just picked up the uh, self-propelled, but I don't think it's gonna do it. Even with the flap open at the back, I actually had to use this stick. So I used this stick to uh, hold it up because I didn't have a strap, but uh, it's not doing that good even on some of the low stuff. So I don't know how it's gonna do on the big stuff. So what we might do, I've just filled up again the utility. We're just gonna do as much as we can with the utility. I might have to actually come back tomorrow and depends how long this is gonna take me today. <laughs>
be asking me why I'm leaving those weeds I'm going past them because they're going to go home this afternoon I'm going to get all the the whipper snipping done and then I'm going to come back tomorrow with the Oregon blade uh, on the KM 131 and smash through those weeds they're so thick man they're like thickest woodiest weeds I've ever seen in the backyard so we're just going to go up here finish off this edging and uh, we'll be back tomorrow <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm calling it in for the day. I am a broken, broken man. Absolutely broken. This killed me with that push mower. I tell you what, you don't realize how much the stand odds make a huge difference, man. Oh, I'm broken, but we're gonna do that tomorrow with the Oregon blade. We've done most of the edging, but you can also see here too, I'll show you. See how it all just keeps standing up. So we're just gonna have to keep going over it, going over it, going over it until we get most of it and then just mulch it in. As you can see here, the reason I was whipper snipping there's two holes. This one's actually got a lot deeper too, this hole. So we have to be careful about that and there's a piece of wood here so anyway this broken man is gonna go have a shower i'll be back tomorrow see you then all right welcome back again to day two we've got the oregon blade we've got some woody weeds let's get into it <laughs>
Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, while it's not perfect, I tell you what, since the start, it's a lot better than it was, I can assure you of that. So subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.